Hey guys, Turtle King here, and I'm back with another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic, episode 3 now. Trace. Numero Trace. Uh, I noticed that in the last couple of videos that my, uh, uh, that the audio for the game was, like, way louder than my voice, so hopefully, I fixed it, I uh, hope, and hopefully this is a lot better for you guys, so yeah. And it's late, but Merry Christmas to everybody that celebrated it. I know it's, like, two days late, but I've got a Star Wars, it's fitting, I've got a Star Wars Christmas shirt on and yeah so all right now whenever we last left off we were we talked to this the trainer we got the crap we got the abilities to learn from a veteran hold on did i train all the abilities yes i did um we got the, we trained in all the abilities we uh, and we did all that good stuff and so now we're going back on the main story, which is hit the ground running, right up here, after a report to Commander Tavis. And so let us begin. Excuse me, Sergeant. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're the new member of Havoc Squad, aren't you? I'm Farn, sir. Private Farn. It's a real honor to meet you. Ord Mantell is my first post. I can't believe I'm here at the same time as Havoc Squad. If, uh, if you don't mind me asking, sir, what's your mission here? Why would Havoc Squad be sent to Ord Mantell? I shouldn't talk about that. We're special forces, Private. I can't really discuss our missions. Of, of course, sir. Right. I understand. Top secret stuff. I, uh, I won't take up any more of your time, Sergeant. I'm sure you have lots of really important things to do. See you later. Maybe we'll run into each other again, Private. I hope so, sir. Goodbye. Okay, now... Now, that's all of Havoc Squad over there, and we're about to meet all of them. And... So... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you would figure that out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, so if we focus our efforts on M Sector, I'm certain that... Sergeant, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. I'm Commander Heron Tavis, Havoc Squad's commanding officer. We're all excited to have some new blood in the unit. Let me introduce you to the other members of Havoc Squad. My second in command, Captain Zora, is the squad's infiltration and assassination specialist. We call her Wraith. Sergeant. This is Fuse, Lieutenant Vanto Bazrin. He's an expert with every type of explosive in the known galaxy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, Sergeant. Hello. Uh, good to meet you. And this is Needles, Lieutenant Ryla Duran. Needles is a medical genius. He's particularly adept at synthesizing powerful new combat stimulants and adrenals. Perfection is my art, Sergeant. It will be my honor to help you perform at your very best. And of course you met Gearbox on your way here, so that's everyone. People, this is the new Sergeant I mentioned, ranked first in the Academy in Forward Assault, Search and Destroy, and Advanced Recon. It's good to have you, Sergeant. Thanks, Commander. It's a real pleasure to meet all of you. Now, the reason we're all here, a Republic transport carrying among its cargo a ZR-57 orbital strike bomb crashed in northern Avalothan six days ago. The recovery unit sent a team, but they were too late. Separatist forces had already stolen the transport's cargo, including the ZR-57, and fled. Sounds like we have a leak. Someone on our side must have tipped the sets off. Yes, we've considered that possibility, but we don't have time for a mole hunt. Recovering that bomb is priority one. ZR-57 is... Well, it's serious hardware, you know? I mean, they can pretty much vaporize this whole island. So we'd better get it back, or, well, boom. We're investigating several leads to the bomb's location. But the one I'd like you to look into, Sergeant, comes from a Republic spy named Bellis. Bellis reported making an important discovery, but he's too deep to exfiltrate for a full report. Instead, you'll rendezvous with Bellis in a nearby village called Talaran. Bellis will meet you in a small alley in Talaran. Find out what he's discovered, then return to base immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. I'll talk to the guy. I have one last introduction to make. This is Lieutenant Arik Jorgen, oh, an operations gosh. officer from the Republic's Ord Mantell Infantry Command. Since we're on individual missions to search for this bomb, Lieutenant Jorgen is coordinating our efforts from here within the mission room. All right, Sergeant. I'll be overseeing your op through the camera mounted on your armor, so I see what you see. It's activated when you leave the fort. I'll make this completely clear, rookie. When you're in the field, what I say goes. Period. I'm no rookie. I can handle myself, sir. The other members of Havoc have proven themselves on dozens of ops, Sergeant. 
You haven't. Just make your way to Talaran, meet up with Bellus, and find out what he knows without screwing anything up. Good luck in Talaran, Sergeant. Dismissed. Lieutenant Jorgen von Douchebag. We have now met him. Let's equip that. And did I get... Oh, I didn't even realize that I got th one of those. Um... Did I... Oh! I didn't do a couple of these things. Okay. Um... So, wait, did I just put that in there? Hold on, give me a second. Okay. These are med packs, and what you can do is, like, if you're in the middle of battle, I think you can only activate one per time that you're in a fight, or maybe they, uh did something else with that I'm not sure but basically you can activate it and it'll heal you and this is we're gonna go ahead and activate that that what I just did was a complimentary major experience boost and which you get these throughout the game uh, sometimes and they really help they like whenever especially whenever you hit 20 whenever you get that uh, gap of like uh, subscriber leveling versus you leveling it helps bridge that gap so that you can earn more experience points and then it'll be kind of like more fair but you still don't earn credits and a couple other things which yeah well you still earn credits you just don't earn as much and these over here are stems so like th they'll help you they'll boost certain abilities that you have like this one increases your endurance which is stuff that tanks use it's it like gives you more being able to take more damage um and this one i can't do i can't equip yet because it requires level 10 but it's uh mastery and power about six uh and mastery is something that they added in i, I think maybe even both of them are i'm not quite sure what they do but um oh yeah that's why it just it says that it increases your aptitude in combat and then power I think that's that power. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, power's right there. Power increases the damage and healing bonuses added to abilities. So that's what that does. So we're since we can do this one, we're gonna do that one. And I'm gonna put this up there. And I keep forgetting that I that I have this stuff. Um. Sorry, I'm just... Okay. I'm all organized now. And yes, I intentionally said it that way. Um, gonna go over to a vendor over here and sell some of this stuff that I don't need anymore for monies. What? That's weird. Do I just not have... I don't... Oh! I remember now, uh, uh, one thing I was going to tell you in the last video was that used to, they had like, uh, the commendation system, which, um, we'll get to in like, whenever we actually start earning commendations and stuff, um, which shouldn't be too much longer in here, the, um, but it used to be that the commendation system, it's a type of currency, and it was like, for each planet, you had, you could, do the missions for the for the planet, earn the planetary commendations for that planet, and then it was just specifically for that planet. So each planet that you had to go to, you'd have to do more missions, get more commendations. Well, now it's where it's for all the planets. Uh, it doesn't matter, it, regardless of whatever it is. So you can be on Ord Mantel and use your commendations that you earned on Ord Mantel and use them on like Ilum, which is a higher level planet. It's not the highest level, but this guy, see this icon right here? That means that he has a side quest for us, which I, I, I might not have mentioned. I, I did mention that before because we've done a side quest before. Um, so yeah, we're gonna talk to him and get his mission. Soldier, soldier, you're special forces, right? I have an urgent mission for you, if you can spare the time. Fill me in. I'm Havoc Squad. What's the mission? Well, my boys dozed off on guard duty last night. But the fort's stock of medicine gets stolen. If we don't get that medicine back, some good Republic soldiers are gonna leave Ord Mantell in body bags. Don't worry. I won't fail. Sleepyhead claims he woke up as the thief was making her escape. 
Only saw the back of her, but she looked like a Cathar. The Cathar are aliens, sort of cat people that live nearby. If some were driven out of their homes from the fighting, the refugee camp is a good place to start. Please hurry. Good soldiers' lives depend on this medicine. Hurry and get that medicine. Lives depend on it. Okay, so another thing that I also just remembered is that the uh, whenever I first started playing this game back again, there was a lot of side quests that are out here, and I didn't I didn't see any of them. And I was just like, why aren't any of them showing up? Is it because I'm not high on a level? But they still weren't showing up. And so I finally realized that if you go into the map and you click on Show Exploration Missions, because I was curious as to what that is, that's what all of these are. They're extra missions that you can do that were the original side quests of the game. Um, which the, this is, too. They just classified the other ones differently, I guess, which I don't know why they did that, but... I'm, if you want, if you guys want me to do all the exploration missions and everything, let me know, and I will. But for right now, I'm just, I'm just going to be doing the side quests that appear without me clicking the button. So, yeah, let's talk to Yale. I'm sorry, Raiso. I don't have any medicine for you today. It hurts. I know, but there's nothing I can do right now. I'm sorry, honey. Hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. It's just crazy around here right now. What brings you to the camp? Thief, honey. Someone stole some medicine. I'm looking for the thief. Ah, the sleeping guard must have sent you. Yeah. I saw the guard sleeping at his post, and I took the medicine, too. It's no use trying to cover it up. See, I took the supplies to help the refugees. More and more of them are dying every day. The Republic won't help. So when I saw the guard sleeping, I helped myself, but then the Separatists took the medicine from me. Now they have it, and we don't. So here's the deal. You agree to bring the supplies to me so I can give them to the refugees, and I'll tell you which way the Separatists went. Unless, of course, you'd rather the Separatists keep the medicine. You would. You're bluffing. This isn't a game. I'm serious. I'm tired of being bullied because I don't carry a gun. If the war doesn't drive people out of their homes, the soldiers come and extort money out of them. Sometimes, someone's driven out of here only to be robbed. Tax, they call it, on the way here. But they won't suffer for lack of medicine. Not if I can help it. Okay, you win. I'll bring you the medicine. Sorry for the guilt trip. But I hope you realize you're doing the right thing. Riso here, at least, will be grateful. The Separatists fled to Talaran Village. Please hurry. There are people here in critical condition. Be right be back. back. Good. I look forward to your arrival. Thank you. Okay, so what we just did, uh, that decision that you made with a, that was, huh, <laughs> the icons, the light and the dark, I just, uh, it was a light and dark side de dis decision. We had the choice of either uh, telling her that we'd help the refugees or threatening this kid. And being like, if you don't give me the medicine, I'm gonna kill him or something like that. I've never actually done that because I like doing light side stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's more in, there's more in, like important ones throughout the game. Like you have choices of whether letting somebody live or killing somebody and all that kind of stuff. This one was pretty simple. It was just like a do this or or threaten the kid. So, yeah. Now we are going to go get the stolen medicine. And we are going to find Bellis. Alright. So Talaran is just right over here. Over these rocks. And the soul of medicine is actually down on the beach. So we gotta go kill the separatists in order to get it. Which we can happily do. Hey there! Now you dead. Oh, you alive! Oh, no, nope. Nope, you're dead. Now you're dead, dude. So. Where's the, what we're looking for is these strong guys over here. The Separatist Commandos. They are the ones who have the medicine. Bum, 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 bum,
And if the volume is too low, especially on like the voices and conversations, just let me know and I'll boost that. What? Hold on, what did I- oh, that's what that was. That's Strongholds, we'll get to that later. I gotta say, it's quite useful having a big gun around the, in the beginning levels. Which, they die easily anyway, because it's the beginning. Um, that was one of the stolen medicines. And you're gonna die now. Alright. Now. First! Kablam! And. Dead. And. Kablam! Dead. And there's the other one. So now we have the choice of either turning it into Yale, which was the Cathar lady that we talked to, or the sergeant that was wanting it for the troops. So, but we're not gonna go back and do that right now, and we're gonna go and do the main story mission. But first, as you can tell, I've got a little bit of damage done to me. So, well, it's healing gradually right now, but if you ever are like really low on health and you're out of combat and you need to boost your health, every class has their own uh, recharge and reload kind of thing. They're all called different things, but it's a healing ability, so if you get low on health, like, I can just do this, and then it'll heal me, and replenish my ammo, and stuff like that. But we don't need to do that, because we're full on everything. So, yeah. This guy is destroying these guys for me. He is killing them. Onward, my friend. Thank you for doing that, so I don't have to. But now, there's these guys up here. Okay, now this is a weak. You can tell by it saying weak right there. And they are just like... I killed him with my most basic attack right there in one shot, so they're like super... It's it's really fun to get a bunch of them together, or just to get a bunch of anybody together that are like a lot lower level than you, and do an AoE attack, because then you just like destroy them, and it's, t t it's just kind of funny to see. <laughs> okay, but we got this bonus, we got this bonus mission right here. Which we are going to do to get more experience points to level faster. There's a henchman. Henchman must die. Henchman must die. Android is now dead. Now he's dead. That's a tripper phase. That's for me, which I'm not able to do that yet. Boop. See, look at that. I just killed three guys <laughs> in one shot because they were so weak. <laughs> that's another one dead. And there's a oh, does that... Oh wait, no, I'm just not. Okay, never mind. Forget I said anything. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Three more left. As long as I can find them, it shouldn't be a problem. Two left. Dos. You don't want to go down there yet because of reasons that you will soon find out. Um. And then that's a warehouse for the smuggler. And by the way, if you guys want to see more classes, um. Like, if you guys want me to do, like, all the classes and stuff, then let me know and I'll do, like, either a class at a time and do the story missions and then, like, go back and do stuff, which, then that will be a, this will be a very long series in that, in that case, if you guys want me to do that. And then that's for that other exploration mission. Um, okay, I just did that. Alright, now on to the trooper storyline. And this is why... We didn't want to go down this alley because that's Bellus. He's dead.
Use the holocom. Great. So this is KIA. That's some fine work, Sergeant. Do you think you could have taken a little longer getting to the RV point? Not my fault there were separatists surrounding the place. Sorry. I got here as fast as I could. Not fast enough, rookie. However, there is a chance you might be able to find out what Bellis learned. If you follow procedure, Bellis should have left a coded recording of his discovery in his field box, hidden somewhere inside his home in Talaran. Remember, if the Separatists know Bellis was a spy, they may already be searching his house or waiting to ambush Republic agents as they come. Stay alert. You okay. have to get that field box from Bellis' house before the Separatists do. Double time it. Will do. Roger that. You're looking out. All right, so now that Bellis is dead, we gotta go get his crap out of his house, which is the stuff that he used for the thing to get information so we can kill separatists and get bomb and we not die. Um, okay. There's no, there's no death in here now. And now we go upstairs, and then there's a, oh, there's his wife. Excuse me? What are you doing in my house? Is there no limit to your nerve? You barricade the town, you break into people's homes. Are you insane? You're going to blow my husband's cover, storming in here in plain view. What are you thinking? Bellis isn't even here. He left for some kind of meeting. Now get out of here before you raise suspicions. Yeah, about that. Uh, he's dead. I'm afraid your husband was killed by the Separatists, ma'am. No, no. He can't be dead, no. Bellis risked his life every day for you. And now you've gone and gotten him killed. My poor sweet Bellis. I'm very sorry. There wasn't anything I could do. Bellis was a good man. Now he's dead because of some stupid war on a on a backwater planet no one cares about. We need your help. Please. A lot of innocent lives are on the line. We need your husband's field box. Why should I give it to you? You got my husband killed. All of you. You killed him. He wanted to help. Bellis was loyal to the Republic, ma'am. He would want you to help us. He wanted was to make a living and keep a roof over our heads. You took advantage. You paid him to get himself killed. Your husband gave his life to bring us this information. If you don't help us now, his sacrifice will mean nothing. Don't feed me that garbage. You want the field box? Fine, it's over there. Take it. Take it and get out. Again, I'm very sorry. Or should he kill you? Hmm. You should get out of here. This area isn't safe. Separatists will probably be swarming this place any minute. Like you care what happens to people like me. Oh, Bellis. Now here's the field box. Now I go and I recover it. Now I go return to the Republic Command Center. <coughs> Shoot! I am sorry for that horrendous, probably sound that you just heard. <coughs> So, now there's Separatist ambushers, but we're gonna kill them, quite simply. They dead now. Now, we could just blast our way out of here. Which is actually what we're gonna do. Wait. Wait, hold on just a dang second. Okay, good. Phew! Oh, uh, <laughs> Okay, for a second, I thought they removed quick travel, and I was about to be a really unhappy person. But quick travel, what it does is you used to have to go around, and you have to you have to go to all the quick travel points, and you have to be like, oh, that's a thing, I'm gonna discover it, and you had to click on it, and then you would unlock it so you could go qu quick quick travel there, and it'd be like a 30 minute wait time, or maybe an hour wait time, before each quick travel that you could do. And these hand motions, and... Um, yeah. So, but now, it's just, you discover that area, uh, the general area that it surrounds, and you can just go and you can, you know, click on it, and then you can go back to it. But we're not going to do that yet. We're just going to shoot our way out of here. Because that is more fun. Like this. Boop! Oh, they didn't all die. Now they're all dead. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna 
see if I can get by these guys without being noticed. Yep. Hey, Separatist Guardsmen. Now you're dead. Bye, Separatist Guardsmen. And now here is the person we're going to turn in this other quest to. Hey, Yale. You. You came back. Do you have the medicine? Here you go. That's every last med kit. Seems the Separatists didn't live long enough to make much use of them. This is going to make a huge difference. Really, it's nice to find someone with a good heart here on Org Mantel. Thank you. I was starting to lose faith that there were any good people left. It was nothing. I just do what I can. A little bit goes a long way. Thank you again. Oh, that's a new, that's a new reward. Used to, it didn't give you a helmet until like a while. Let me see what this looks like. If it looks cool, then we'll... That. <laughs> I went from having a full beard and hair to now having a mustache like that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. <laughs> I need the full beard and my hair. <laughs> not a mustache like that. That's funny. I didn't know that it did that. Okay. Still no medicine? My men are dying here. Hurry up. Yeah, about that. I don't know why you couldn't just split the medicine. I mean, I feel bad not giving it to the troops, but I also want to help out the civilians. Learn from a veteran. Stay sharp out there. Sp Stick a grenade! Now you stick it, you throw this and it sticks onto somebody and then they go boom. Uh, and that you use it on somebody whenever they're weak and then they, they die. Oh, hold on. This is a lore object and there's another one over there that I'll discover in a second. But these are just like little fun things that you can do and it'll update your things. And you can read about it if you are into that. If you like reading about like all this kind of stuff in the now, I guess, obsolete expanded universe because of J.J. Abrams. And this one is Rodians. And that's a Rodian. Smuggle train. By the way, I know this is kind of like random, but I just saw Rogue One yesterday. It's a great movie. <laughs> It's a very different Star Wars movie, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, Sergeant, hey, you're back. Good job out there in Talaran. Really nice work. I'll take the fuel box you retrieved, Sergeant. And maybe next time, you could bring me a live Republic agent instead. Lieutenant Bazarin here still thinks you're mission worthy, so he has a task for you. He'll brief you while I start decoding Bellis' intel. Again, Sergeant oh, yes, Bonk um, We found an urgent lead while you were in Talaran, Sergeant. The perfect op for our new assault specialist. I'm ready for duty. What's the assignment? Here's what happened. This refugee comes into the fort, right? Not that unusual. But this guy says he knows about a Separatist bombing. One happening today. All we got was his name, Nehru. Because he was thrown out of the fort before we could get to him. Is that normal? I don't think throwing informants out is standard procedure. Bums come here every day trying to trade intel for credits. It's bogus 90% of the time, so the grunts downstairs usually chase them off. I guess Miru could be lying, but what if he does know about the ZR-57? We can't take that risk. Anyway, we looked into it, and Miru is staying over in the refugee camp. See if you can find him there. Will do. Yes, sir. While you're gone, Jorgen will decode the information from Bellis's field box. Hopefully we'll find out what the Separatists are hiding. Now get to the refugee camp and get Miru's intel, soldier. 
If this bombing's happening soon, there's no time to waste. And I got another chest piece that is better than the one I have. Because the other one that I have doesn't have anything on it. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to see, like, more classes and stuff, uh, which I might do anyways because that sounds pretty fun. But let me know if you, um, let me know if you want to see them as I'm doing a trooper or wait till I finish the trooper storyline and then start on another class. Um, yeah, if you, and, <laughs> words, I, I can't seem to speech properly, um, <laughs> but, yeah, let me know if the volume is a little bit too low now, especially on the voices, so, or if it's just right, and, yeah, until next time, eat some cheese, bad turtle, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.